It's no secret three major hospitals in Hudson County are struggling financially and asking the state for more than $100 million in fiscal relief. But this week, New Jersey's Department of Health ordered CarePoint Health System, which runs the hospitals, to submit disaster plans for the facilities, citing ongoing and serious money troubles. The hospitals are saying the state's order is causing unnecessary panic for medical employees and their patients, while some law Makers believe it's a signal the health system needs a lifeline. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports. CarePoint's three hospitals in Hudson County show clear symptoms they're ailing financially. A state monitor's recent diagnosis found Christ Hospital in Jersey City, Bayonne Medical Center, and Hoboken University Medical Center are financially unstable. Their cash flow so anemic, the facilities could fiscally flatline and close. It would be catastrophic if any one of these hospitals closed, let alone two or three. And as a delegation, we are not going to let that happen. Senator Raj Mukherjee represents Jersey City and Hoboken. He calls CarePoint a safety net and notes that behind the glittering high-rise facades, Hudson County's home to thousands of undocumented migrants and residents without health insurance who often seek charity care at the three hospitals. CarePoint claims it's served more than 270,000 such patients since the COVID crisis, but only got a $10 million slice of Jersey's $700 million in federal pandemic aid. These hospitals handle much more charity care than most of their counterparts throughout the state. That's uncompensated care. And on top of that, their Medicaid reimbursements for the high volume of indigent patients they have that are on Medicaid um, don't get them to a break-even point. New Jersey's Department of Health recently sent each hospital a letter stating, due to CarePoint's significant financial distress, the hospitals may experience a disruption in services or be forced to close abruptly. It requested a so-called disaster plan for potential hospital evacuations. But a CarePoint spokesman replied, it is absolutely categorically false to claim that any of them are at imminent risk of closing and doing so only creates unnecessary stress on the dedicated physicians and staff working hard every day. Bayonne's mayor noted this type of disaster plans required of all hospitals, not just those experiencing financial issues, and that all parties are working on solutions. And close to 1,700 folks have signed CarePoint's Change.org petition, seeking at least $100 million in state appropriations and a $30 million governor's grant in order to continue operating operating at an optimal pace. I think that that's an ambitious ask. Um, I think there's going to need to be accountability in terms of uh, an audit, in terms of the reporting from the fiscal monitor, uh, transparency from the hospital system also. Um, I think that if we fine tune that number to what is minimally necessary to survive and then eventually thrive post-closing, uh, you're looking at a more modest number. McCurgy suspects CarePoint could get an eight-figure number in stabilization aid from Jersey's Department of Health, enough to keep it going while it negotiates a joint venture with Hudson Regional Hospital based in Secaucus. Meanwhile, the state monitor will oversee CarePoint's finances. It's been sued for non-payment by several vendors seeking millions of dollars. We should be looking at a true public option in New Jersey and extending health care benefits to those among us who don't have documentation like New York and other states have done creatively, because that would also help bolster our acute care hospitals and other health care providers that are serving the vulnerable. He says New Jersey's charity health care system needs a funding upgrade. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.